Yo guys, what is happening? My name is God Disciple and welcome to another DCUO video. So, in today's video guys, I am going to be showing you my up-to-date quantum DPS loadout for PvE. So, we had game update 54 and with that came an update to quantum. So, quantum received the mid-range damage and also had some buffs to some of the powers. So, with this change comes an up-to-date loadout. So, I'm going to be bringing you um, a guide on the gear, skill points, power points, loadout and rotation. So, I do hope this helps you out guys. Um, I did receive a bit of help with this loadout, so big shout out to Straw Hat Luffy. Thanks very much mate, you're a beast player. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it guys. So first up guys, I'm going to show you where to put your power points. So, with Quantum you get the time and space tree. So first of all, please go into the time tree. And you want to get the first one, Tachyon Blast. You then want to go down to Tempo Extortion, left to Time Shift, right to Time Bomb, down to Tachyon Blast, left to Anomaly. Always struggle to say that word. <laughs> bottom left, Warp Barrage, and bottom right, Distortion Wave. You're then going to go into the Space Tree, and you're going to get Gravitonic Field, In Spiral Waves, and Warp Reality, so the three down the middle. You then have the Iconic Powers, and with those, well you should have four power points left. So then you want to get the DPS ones in the bottom right. So Weapons Expert and Tactical Genius. And then you've got two free. So I always put mine in Wisdom of Solomon which gives you the extra power. And then left to that is Powerful Resistance which gives you the extra health. Next up guys, I'm going to show you where to put your skill points. So this is a advanced mechanic loadout so if I'm very honest with you you don't need to worry about specking into weapon mastery at all. All you want to do is when you're going through all of your skill points and going into each of the weapons you want to be making sure that first of all you're getting the critical attack chance and then you're putting as much skill points in so you can get as much might as possible. Quantum is all about the might damage so you want to be going through getting as much might as you possibly can but also making sure that you're going through and getting all of the critical attack chances and damage because it's all about one big hit and if you get a critical hit on it then you're going to get massive damage. So yep, yeah, just get all the critical attack chances and damages as much might as you can and you're going to be laughing. So next up guys is your gear. So obviously this is an advanced mechanic loadout. You don't use your weapon at all during this loadout so just get as high a weapon of a CR that you possibly can. Doesn't matter what it is because you're not really going to be using it. But with PvE DPS at the moment it's all about the CR so make sure that you're grinding that content to get as high a CR as you possibly can and your damage is going to be increased. But when you are modding this gear you want to get as much might as you possibly can and also make sure that you get the affinities that are going to matter to you as well. Um, white mod wise, uh, you want to get your blast adapter in your weapon, um, in your neck you want to get escalating might, in chest I used um, core strength, in feet deadly block and in hands max damage. But yep, yeah, just get as high a CR as you possibly can, put as much might as you possibly can whilst getting the affinities that matter and with your white mods just focus it all on the damage. Next up guys is the loadout, so with Quantum Advanced Mechanics the way it works is you start with Time Bomb and then the damage that you do with moves after multiplies so that Time Bomb hits really nice and big at the end. So we start off with Time Bomb, we've then got Distortion Wave, Warp Barrage, Tachyon Blast, Warp Reality and Temple Extortion. Now a lot of people are going to be asking a question about that one but I will show you in the rotation why that is in there. So you've got Time Bomb which starts off the advanced mechanics, uh, Distortion Wave which adds the damage to that, Warp bar uh, Barrage also adds to the damage of it and so does Tachyon Blast. You've then got Warp Reality which is the attack buff and it also adds some damage in there as well. And then you've got Temporal Extortion which is the controller power dump move but again I will show you why that is in there in the rotation. So here we are then guys, the final part to the guide and it is the rotation, probably the most important part of this guide. So like we said before, um, Quantum has got mid-range damage now, so I believe it's if you're within 7 meters off the uh, target, that's where you get the most damage. 
then it's about 7 to 12 is where you get the sort of mediocre kind of damage and after 12 meters you basically don't want to be in that zone because your damage can be poor so obviously make sure that you're as close to the target as you possibly can but don't get yourself into too much of a sticky position otherwise you're just going to get one shotted so the rotation itself so we start off with time bomb we go into distortion wave warp barrage and tachyon blast that is the advanced mechanic so it looks a little bit like this so time bomb distortion wave warp barrage tachyon blast and there you go you can see the the hit with um with time bomb hit for 54k then so i'll show you again there you go you can see that all the damage is multiplying so that time bomb is getting bigger if you just do time bomb on its own 6k damage so you want to be making sure that you're getting that full rotation going now before with quantum dps in it used to all be about the pre-loading loadout so that would be when you do warp barrage before you do time bomb and then you do then three other powers after so that you get a big hit that's still all right but it's too slow now so with this loadout is all about speed and that is where warped reality and temporal extortion come into it what you want to be doing is on the final move of the advanced mechanics so tachyon blast initially you want to be clipping that with warp reality so it looks a little bit like this so time bomb distortion wave warp barrage tachyon blast clip with warp reality and there you go we can see that tachyon blast is sped up because it is quite a slow move compared to the others so you can also see then that what reality has a cooldown and that is where temporal extortion comes into it so the first part of the rotation is clipped with what reality at the end and then the second and third part is clipped with temporal extortion again it's something to speed it up now your controllers, they're also going to benefit from it because you're going to be given power out, but that really isn't that important. The main reason why you've got that in there is to speed up the rotation. So the full rotation, guys, looks a little bit like this. So time bomb, distortion wave, warp barrage, tachyon blast, click with warp reality, that's one. Time bomb, distortion wave, warp barrage, tachyon blast, click with temporal exhaustion. Again, same again. Click with temporal exhaustion, and then again, we're now going back into what reality so you can see that we are speeding through it absolutely speeding and we're getting quite a lot of damage off there compared to when we're preloading the uh, the loadout but the thing is is we are getting speed here so especially when you're on ads if you're using warp uh, barrage before the time bomb it's very very slow whereas with this we're still getting really high damage off but at the same time, we're straight back into the loadout. So it works out that we're getting more damage than if we're preloading. So there you go. Very, very nice. And it's so quick. Once you get into it, you'll get into clipping so quick with this. And you are going to beast the damage. We have tested the preloading loadout against this in Blackest Day. So my friend Straw Hat Luffy used this loadout, I used the preloading loadout and he absolutely trashed me. I even tried using um, the supercharge as well which was in the last loadout and although you might get a big hit from it, it's just not viable. Even on the bosses, this loadout is smashing it. So there you go then guys it is so nice and simple and you get such nice damage off it obviously quantum looks epic so it's really really fun to use i'll just very quickly show you on three ads so you can see what sort of damage we're getting here so let's go in the middle one and i'll tell you what let's go for everything buffed so let's go for trinket cola supply drop and then boom watch this damage so first up with what reality and look we're getting 40 k's off each of them so multiply that by three you're getting over 120 k without using the supercharge and when you use the supercharge you basically can hit that and my cr is obviously 143 the higher cr you are the more damage you're going to be getting so you're just going to be trashing people with this 
Even ICE DPSs are getting beaten by this loadout, so that just shows how good it is and how important it is, the speed with Quantum now. So there you are then guys, I hope that does help you out and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you do have any questions, let me know in the comments section below and let me know how you guys are getting on with this loadout. I absolutely love it when I'm running the content, so I hope you guys do enjoy it as well. But as always, please do make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, take good care and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye now.